Hello, my name is Alok Sharma. The title of this poster is Bridge Tree Catchments in GIS for Multi-Span Structures in Vermont. A little background. Most of these structures fail during flood due to scar at foundation level. And on top of that, if there is accumulation of debris, that will further exacerbate the scar failure. The objective of our project is to identify the bridges that are at great risk of scar failure due to debris accumulation. And that would eventually help to develop efficient response plans during uh, such flood events. And that would ultimately contribute to the resilience of transportation network during such hazards. So we started with statistical analysis of data. From the National Bridge Inventory, we filtered out all the bridges in Vermont to select the bridges uh, which are multi-span and which cross the hydraulic uh, bodies. And then uh, we started statistical clustering. So we used k-prototype clustering method to cluster the bridges into basically six categories, six clusters. And the basis of that clustering was the following attributes of the bridges. Two of them are quantitative, two of them are qualitative attributes. So after we clustered the bridges, we went further to select one bridge from each cluster which best represents the whole cluster. So these representative bridges, the six bridges are shown here on the map of Vermont. And we collected the structural and hydrographic data of these six bridges from FITRANS. The next thing we did was spatial clustering of bridges. So what happens is when two bridges are very near to each other, the bridge that is at the downstream will not have significant debris accumulation because uh, all the debris that are transported by the flood water is already trapped by the structure that is present upstream. So first we grouped all the bridges into different groups uh, based on the relative distances between the bridges. So we created groups for 50 meters, 100 meters, 250 meters, and 500 meters ranges. So out of the ranges, we chose 100 meters to be the cutoff value. So this means that if two bridges are less than 100 meters apart, then the bridge that is at the downstream does not suffer from debris accumulation. That is our basis of analysis. So now let's see the preliminary results that we have obtained. Basically, we used the data from NASA, uh, which is the tree canopy height data in the catchment area upstream of the structure. So with the tree canopy height data, we could create a buffer around the river stream to estimate the potential for large wood debris accumulation at the bridge structure. So our final target is to, to estimate the size of the large wood debris as well as the volume of debris at the pier of the bridge structure. And that would eventually help to uh, analyze the safety of bridge during the flood event. So with this, I end this presentation about the poster. Thank you.